because if it's in the middle it's kind of hard to predict or like this it's hard to predict where things are gonna go so that's some stroke options right there is there anything in yeah um, also what you can do with strokes is you can have a dash line when you check it here uh, so you can decide like um, the width, not the width, but the uh, if you want a longer dash or a smaller dash. So if I put like four, it's gonna be really small, and you can decide between like the to set the space between the dashes. So if I want to like have a gap of twelve, and then have a gap of thirty-five, so you can have like a pretty cool pattern, like not a regular dash, play with the space. Um, is there any question for the stroke part? Nope. Um, in this, in the, another panel under it, um, as a fill option, you can put gradients on stuff. So, if I draw a shape, so I just click on the gradient, and there's going to be like little colored square available. You can put which color you want on it, on them. So right now, and be careful to like it's going to apply to the thing that is selected here. So I'm going to select the fill, and you can set whatever colors you want and to add other ones you just click besides them and you can add Um, what's cool in the gradient too is you can play with how the gradient reacts to the stroke so I'm gonna show you a better example so you can see that now the gradient on the stroke is linear but it can be like it can follow the circle so right now um, yeah, it's across the stroke, and uh, this one is just like straightforward, like really linear, and here it follows the. So if I put like the same color at the end and at the beginning, it's supposed to close. So that's really useful for. I don't know, stuff like you want to make a snake thing like this, like the gradient really follows all, all along the stroke. So that's pretty neat. You can play with those options at any time. So. Um, another cool thing right after the gradient is a uh, transparency um, you have different like blending modes so your shape you want it's a bit like in Photoshop if you use that um, you can put whatever you want to blend with other shape um, right now I can't use it because I've done something else with this but screen or like you can play with the opacity there that's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, we could play with the text. So fonts are also vectors, but I, I don't think it's vector, it's something else. But you can vectorize them and you can scale them as you want in uh, Illustrator too. So 
here where are the basic tools for drawing stuff there's a text one so you can change the font here at the top so I always use this one and what's cool with the text is that if you draw a path with the pen tool and you click on the type tool and click on the path you can have the text follow the path also if you're gonna um, like share files of your illustrator project um, sometimes you wanna like not have the font editable because the other people are not gonna have your font so uh, you can just right click and create outlines and you're gonna have your text as shapes um. is everything okay for now? You can do pretty much what I. <laughs> do you have Illustrator installed or <laughs> not? Not yet. <laughs> Six minutes. Left. I okay. just got it to work, so I'm like squiggling. Oh, okay. That's why nobody had any questions till now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start the workshop again. Uh, we can learn how to make a custom brush. I guess that's fun. Um. So you start by just drawing things. Can you use one from Photoshop? Once you create already Photoshop in Illustrator? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I've never done it. I'm sorry. So you can just drag that in the brushes. Boom. And now you can select, like, is it going to be an art brush, a pattern, or a scatter? Um, pattern is just going to repeat the thing you've put in the brush. Like, it's going to repeat that section. Um, art brush is just going to, like, scale it along a path. Um, we can try the pattern for now. And... You have a bunch of uh, options there. I'm going to show you. Cl you can click OK and draw your path and then select your brush. So, how, do people, how did you have the menu for the brush creation? So uh, you just drag what's what you want to be a brush. Yeah. You drag it into the brush. Into brush? Palette. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty. That's so if you you're not satisfied with how it repeats you can double click on your brush and play with some settings like the spacing uh, also the scale of it um, you can also flip it um, So yeah, you can like play with a bunch of options there to modify like the look of it. So that's pretty much it for making your own brushes. We can try like a an art brush. So if I like do this, also, if you want to draw a circle, but like have your cursor at the center of it, you just press Alt and you can draw a circle from 
the center. It's pretty useful. And if you want a perfect circle, hold Alt and Shift. So I selected Art Brush instead of Pattern. And now I can like just use it for this or can modify this. Grow. This is useful for like things that like for this one it's not a good example because it's like all scaling it and like it looks weird but um, I use this kind of thing to make like uh, you can do art brushes like this so you don't really care if it's scaled or not like you can make because it's subtle, but you can also make all sort of uh, like if I want to make your rainbow so if you make something move like you hold alt if you want to make a copy of it and you can press command D to repeat it repeat the movement that you just did so you press alt as you move a shape to repeat it and then if you like the space like I can do it like here if I want it to be a line I just like copy it right there and press command D to have it repeated Uh, yeah. Control D. Yeah. Control D. D. D is for repeating things. Oh. Yeah. So I want to make a little rainbow brush. Sending art. <coughs> And you can do this, or this here. I don't remember what scatter. Oh, it's not there. Uh, yeah. So, oh, that's like a bit of like a pattern, but it's just like repeating a shape on a path. So scatter is basically taking what you've dragged on the symbols and just like repeat its shape. So I guess you can play with this. And but for this one, I think you can have the colors be rotating like, like this instead. So you can play with the direction of your of the symbol you want to be like scaled and can you make like a an end cap? Um hmm. That's a good question. I wonder what it would do. Pretty sure you could do it. Like you made a version of that with a rounded end, for example. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you should, we should try. Mm -hmm. I've never done.